On today's show, Ford could be the first automaker to export cars to the U.S. from India, BMW loads up the 7 Series with new technology, and Volvo's safety technology is helping to slash insurance claims. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for June 11th of 2015. Volvo plans to start selling S60s built in China and the US by the end of the year, the first major automaker to do so. And now Ford could be the first automaker to sell Indian built cars in the American market. According to a report from India's The Economic Times, Ford may start exporting its compact SUV, the EcoSport, from India to the US starting in 2017. The company has begun working on a refreshed version for North America and is looking to export as many as 90,000 a year. BMW took the wraps off the all-new 7 Series yesterday, and while the styling isn't drastically different, the company loaded up its big sedan with a host of new features. Depending on the version you choose, it's up to 130 kilograms lighter, or about 287 pounds, thanks to the use of carbon fiber reinforced plastic in the body structure. It's powered by an updated V8 and inline six-cylinder engines that are mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. A plug-in hybrid version is available for the first time too. It consists of a four-cylinder gasoline engine and an electric motor. Its fuel economy is rated at 2.1 liters per 100 kilometers combined, or about 112 miles per gallon, but that's based on the easier European test cycle. The plug-in can also travel up to 25 miles in pure electric mode and at speeds up to 75 miles per hour. On the inside, the iDrive system comes with a touch screen for the first time and gesture control, which detects hand movements with a 3D sensor. Another big new feature is the addition of remote control parking that helps you get in and out of a tight parking spot. The technology doesn't require a driver behind the wheel. Instead, the owner uses a special tablet to start moving it in or out of a spot while the car takes care of the rest. Those are just a few of the highlights of the new 7 Series, so if you want to learn more, just click the link in today's transcript. We'll be back with more right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Borg Warner. Feel good about driving. Bridgestone Tires. Your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems. Breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. And by Hyundai. Learn more at Hyundai.com. In yesterday's show, we reported on green car sales in the U.S. market and how cheap gasoline prices are clobbering sales. We reported those as year-to-date sales, but mistakenly showed the figures for only the month of May. Here are the year-to-date sales. The entire segment is down 15% for the year. Hybrids are off 19%. Plug-ins have plummeted 30%. The only bright spot is for electric cars, which are up 30%. But based on the figures we provided yesterday, the green car segment is getting worse as the year goes on. Well, we've seen a number of new small crossovers hit the market recently, and now Hyundai's getting into the mix. The automaker just released this sketch of its entry, the Creta. As you can see, it bears a lot of resemblance to other models in its lineup, including its big brother, the Santa Fe. No other details were released with the sketch, but with the small crossover segment on fire, it's not surprising to see others test the waters. And if you want to learn more about the development of the all-new Chevrolet Camaro, make sure you tune in to AutoLine After Hours this afternoon. That's because our special guest is Al Oppenheiser, the chief engineer of the muscle car. So if you've got any questions about the new Camaro, send them to viewer mail at autoline.tv. And then join John and Gary Vasilach for some of the best insider discussions in the business. That's today at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on autoline.tv. Coming up next, Volvo is helping to cut accident claims and Honda introduces a new rocket ship on two wheels. Why Tucson? There's the 17-inch alloy wheels, a panoramic sunroof, and the rear view camera. And if that's not enough reasons, the touchscreen nav can help you find a few more. The Hyundai Tucson. Cars these days are being loaded up with safety technology. But is it really helping to prevent accidents? In Volvo's case, the answer is yes. 
The company says the cars equipped with its collision avoidance technology, which it calls city safety, have cut insurance claims by nearly 30%. The data comes from two Swedish insurance companies. And the figures only include the first two generations of city safety, which automatically brakes at speeds up to 30 miles per hour. The updated version in the new XC90 now works at any speed. As we've said, Volvo is a step ahead of everyone else when it comes to pushing safety. You know, most motorcycle riders that would want to will never get the chance to climb on the back of a pure race-spec MotoGP bike, but Honda is bringing customers as close to that experience as ever before. It confirmed that it will make a bike called the RC213VS, which is directly based on its world champion MotoGP bike, with only minimal changes for a street application. It gets all the lightweight and go-fast goodies just like the race bike, including the 90-degree 990cc V4 engine. As you would suspect, production is limited and reservations can only be made at an official model website. And the price tag reflects this amount of race content and exclusivity, a staggering $184,000. Have you seen our auto-tune reports? If you're truly into music, we've got some great write-ups of songs related to cars, but none of that top 40 stuff. You can check it out on the Autoline website. But that brings us to the end of today's show. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.